Hey everyone, Jordan Karan here from Meaningful Marketing and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up ad groups and ads within your Google AdWords campaign. Now if you didn't catch my last video, I'll post a link to it uh, at the bottom of this video description, uh, linking to that uh, where you learn how to set up a Google AdWords campaign. And now it's within the campaign where you set up your ad groups and then your ads. So at the campaign level, you just have which areas you're targeting, your budget and which network you're featuring in. and now it's within the ad groups that you can create your ads to target these locations so for the sake of this one we're in uh, our back end uh, of our Google AdWords here and we're not running anything but we'll just walk you through it and we'll set something up uh, fictitiously here so to give you an idea of what kind of things you want to do with your ad groups uh, we'll go over to here Google's little ad group uh, is a set of keywords, ads, and bids you manage together in order to show ads to people likely to be interested in them. So to give you an example, separate ad groups for are best for separate ad groups are best for different product types you offer. If you're a caterer, for example, you could have different ad groups for wedding catering and party catering. So since those are two totally different services. Uh, you want to obviously create different ad groups and let's say for the example if you're a furniture store you'd probably want to have different ad groups for all your product categories whether it's dining room stuff or bedroom stuff or living room stuff you'd want to have different ad groups for all of those things but your campaign level would be set um, to have them targeting the same area and have a budget for the overall ad uh, the overall ad groups so to kind of stop talking here and actually get you in and show you how to do this. So we're going to go into, uh, let's just go to the actual dashboard. What will happen is you'll go to your campaigns. So you can see all your campaigns and you can see all the campaigns on the side here. We're going to click on the SEO one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new ad group. So I've already created one while well, it's not there anymore, but just to give you an example. So for us, we'd maybe title this search engine optimization. And that's our ad group name. Now the headline, this is where you want to get into having your keywords uh, or one of your main keywords as your headline. So for us, for the example, we're going to be targeting SEO Victoria, BC, which is Victoria's a city and British Columbia is our province. I type that in. So that's one of the most common uh, search terms we get uh, on our website um, is SEO Victoria BC. So I've created a headline that has the, the direct match keyword in there which I think is great and the easiest way to get people uh, likely clicking on your ads. Now the next step is to create an intriguing description of what you're trying to offer that person and to get them to click through because the big thing with AdWords is making sure your click-through rate is high so that your ads are showing more and Google's idea of how ad, uh, ads should be shown is based on what their click-through rate is. So if you have a high click-through rate, the chances that your ad will show up higher, along with other things which I'll discuss in another video. But for right now, let's focus on how to actually create an engaging title that intrigues people and gets them clicking through your website. So for us, a big thing that we try to differentiate ourselves with from other companies is the fact that we have guaranteed results and you can see our clients rankings which is very transparent and as well as uh, we have competitive prices so if I wanted to intrigue somebody I'm probably gonna type something like guaranteed and I'm guaranteed results at competitive whoops I'm gonna have to get the old spell check out there at competitive prices and now the next line I want to have that entry, you know, that 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 little bit of text that's gonna make people click through. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna type something in here, and you wanna you wanna avoid the word click. They don't like uh, Google doesn't like that when you try to really I guess persuade people to click through. So you have to you know duck your way around that by using different terms. So I always uh, try to set something up like CR proven results inside okay well that's not gonna work so we've run out of text anytime you see that minus two is that you've run out of text now could I put prices up on that line no because I only have two characters left so uh, I could just type CR proven results something like that so it's it's enough to intrigue people to click through to see what kind of results now the display URL this could be anything it's not the actual URL people are gonna go to so 
if you wanted to, you could have your main keyword, your headline, as the actual display URL, but the destination URL is where people are going to go. So for us, let's say if we wanted to <coughs> have a landing page, we'd want to probably set up a, a page off of the website. And once I get into talking about keywords and landing page um, intent, you want to make sure that you have a landing page that has a lot of the keywords that you target. So for us, since we're ranking quite high for any uh, organic search terms within SEO or search engine op optimization in Victoria, let's just say we're going to use this. So this is our destination URL. So that's where people will click and land on when they see your ads. And just to be able to track things, you definitely want to try to have a separate web page set up um, that again has a lot of the keywords on it that's optimized for the ads. But just so you can track things better and to see you know how effective your campaign and your ads are. So now that we've got our ads set up, the next thing we want to do is we're going to select keywords. So I'll just kind of sh to give you an idea of how you're, you know, you get this example of, okay, start with 10 to 20 keywords. So since we're trying to target people in Victoria, BC, as set up into our uh, ad campaign already, uh, or at the campaign level, we can add a lot of these search terms or these keywords in here. So obviously, uh, website search engine optimization is one search engine optimization website SEO website optimization uh, somebody searching how to optimize your websites for search engines they're looking for an actual article and content on that so we're probably going to avoid that since we're trying to actually do provide this service for people so adding your keywords is going to be important because you don't want to waste uh, money targeting keywords where the intent of the person is not to purchase your product or service uh, so let's just see if we want to go into some, let's go into website SEO. So website SEO, yeah, that's definitely some, some search terms we want to target. SEO for websites, SEO for websites, website SEO services, definitely us. How to SEO your website, again, we'd probably want to create a different ad that gives people a step-by-step -step <coughs> uh, piece of content. If, uh, for people searching these terms. So we'd set up a different ad for anybody searching like how to or uh, what's the best way to get more web traffic to your site. But for right now, we're just going to focus on our services, um, websites, uh, SEO for website, website and SEO. Um, and we'll kind of continue. I'm just going to get some more keywords in here to show you. So it says start to 10 with 20 keywords. Let's say we've got that all set up, and in another video, I'll talk more detailed strictly about keywords and using the Keyword Planner tool. Now, our default bid, I'm just going to go $1.25. Now, this is just set a default bid for all these keywords. Now, some of these keywords, we might have to bid a little bit more to get our ads shown on the first page within the search network, um, but we can find that out once we click Save Our Ad Group. Oh, so we've already got this. Uh, let's just do... SEO services. So we've uh, I just went in and created another one earlier today. So we're gonna hit save. Okay, so now you can see, like if we go back to our campaign level on the left here, SEO. That was that search engine optimization one which I created earlier, which I'm gonna delete now. So this is our SEO services. So this is gonna be our ad group. And then we're going to see our ads. So from the campaign level, this is our ad group. And then this is the ad within that actual ad group. So if you wanted to add another ad, you could. And you could try to use some different, key, maybe a different keyword uh, for a headline. So maybe something like uh, search engine or optimize your website, you know, get more traffic to your website, whatever it is. Just create a different ad that targets a different keyword or one of your other main keywords. And then just compare it to see how your click-through rates are doing and what the cost per clicks is, just so you get an idea. And you can always pause one of them if one seems to be underperforming. But within that, you're going to have all the same keywords that you're targeting. So that's why it's key to have the same services um, provided So <clears throat> within the ads. So as you can see, we've got SEO Victoria BC in our keywords right now. We've got you know stuff like okay, 
SEO optimization and all these things. So you'll see below first page bid, this just means we're going to have to increase our bid. And what you can do is you can just click on the number and increase the bid and hit save. So this will be not below first page. So you see the little eligible. And one thing to look at too is the, uh, you can click on eligible and to the left of it is a little speech bubble there kind of. And this will give you a quality score. A quality score is a score to 10 based on you know how good your ad is, how relevant it is to the keywords you're targeting, and what's your landing page like. So again, having the keywords that you're targeting actually in your ad and on your landing page and uh, based on what kind of ad you have. So those will determine your uh, ad rank score or quality score. So having a quality score of you know five, six, or seven is, is mediocre. If you have an eight or nine, that's really good. You've really targeted your keywords, but it's going to be hard if you have um, a lot of keywords that you're targeting because to have them all listed on your landing pages would be difficult. So sometimes it's not a bad idea to break down some of these keywords. And again, I'm going to talk a, a lot more in detail about keywords and targeting those things. But for right now, you just kind of get an idea of, again, how to set up your ad groups and then your ads within each ad group. So. Hope you enjoyed the video and my next video again will be on how to uh, target specific keywords, broad search, exact match search or phrase uh, match just to give you an idea of you know, how that works and where your ads show would show up for certain keywords. And also I'm going to show you how to use a tool called the uh, Keyword Planner tool to give you an idea of what kind of search terms are being used. So the, uh, pay attention to that video which will be coming out on our website as well as uh, another YouTube tutorial like this. So thanks for tuning in and if you got any questions just let me know in the video or in the description comments below.